The most important benefit for me was initially bonding. I feel like breastfeeding creates a bond between mom and baby that there's just nothing like it. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> there's just something really nice about knowing that you're providing and taking care of your child in that way. I just feel like I'm giving him the best. It was a great time for us just to get to know each other and enjoy each other. Give her a kiss and see if that gets her to do it for you. Oh, kisses! <laughs> At the time, it was a selfish decision. I really wanted the bond that it seemed like moms who breastfed got with their babies. But it seemed like the literature was saying that babies are healthier and they grow up doing better overall if they're breastfed. There are so many things that we can tell moms about the benefits of breastfeeding. We know that the more breast milk a baby gets, especially when the baby receives only breast milk, we know that the health benefits increase for both the mother and the baby. We have identified over 300 components in breast milk and we've just scratched the surface. We're trying to figure out what all these components actually do. Any disease that mom has had, well, those antibodies will be passed through to her baby through mom's breast milk. And we're also learning that the body absorbs these nutrients much better than when they are in an artificial milk. When I was pregnant, I did, I tried to do everything perfect, you know, um, I ate fruits and vegetables all day, drank lots of water on my prenatals, and my mother breastfed my sisters for two years, so I figured if she can do it, I can do it. I wasn't convinced about it. I thought I would use formula or I would supplement in any way I needed to. But then once I took that class and I really started to understand the benefits for both of us, it just completely changed and said, I'm gonna make this work and I'm gonna breastfeed my baby. Breastfeeding protects the infant and the mother from disease. I think that being exposed to mom's antibodies to any illness help a a lot to keep babies nice and healthy. And she's gone to daycare since she was eight weeks old and she would get minor colds compared to what everyone else was getting. And then she'd be over it fairly quickly. And I really feel like that's a breastfeeding thing. In the early period for a newborn, the, the major benefits are of getting colostrum, a special early milk that help, helps an infant fight off infections. My baby was born in January and cold and flu season runs all the way up through April. So I knew that if I could at least get her to the April time period, that she would have a lot of the immunities to get through cold and flu season. Antibodies help them fight off respiratory tract infections and intestinal or GI infections, which they are especially prone to develop in the first couple of weeks to a couple of months of life. My family has a lot of allergies in it, so there are a lot of benefits of waiting to introduce any other food until six months because it can make sure that your baby's ready to, to actually have the different types of foods and so they don't develop the same types of allergies. Diabetes runs in my family, so any type of protection, a little extra protection that I can give him from getting diabetes, I'm gonna give him. I just feel like I'm giving him the best. We know that children who are breastfed have uh, less problems with obesity, diabetes, type 1 and 2, and all kinds of other illnesses ranging from upper respiratory infections to diarrhea to uh, leukemias even. We think it's so important that we actually have pasteurized donor human milk for babies who can't receive maternal breast milk. It is just as important as any medication that we give in the intensive care nursery. To moms, there are several benefits. It helps lower my chances for breast cancer, ovarian cancer. Um, those are the benefits for me. I burn an extra 500 calories a day, <laughs> so that's helpful. When you have a baby and you're not sleeping a lot and you're not working out a lot, it really helps to get your body back into a more regular schedule. Mothers who are breastfeeding have a, a decreased risk of having anemia in the early postpartum period, and that's likely most uh, often from a mom having decreased bleeding after the delivery from the hormone that she produces called oxytocin. It helps the uterus contract. Those types of things all started to weigh on me. So it was really first just about that bond and then these other benefits all really started to compile when it was a challenge and the bond was a challenge to get. 
but we could really focus on, okay, there are some substantial hard evidence facts of why breastfeeding is going to be great for my daughter and for me in the future. Breastfeeding is very convenient for a mother and a, a baby, actually. Breast milk is always at the right temperature, is always readily available. In the middle of the night feedings, um, you know, when you're laying in bed and he's crying in the crib next to you, it's so easy just to grab him out of the crib and put him to your breast and feed him. You don't have to get up, warm bottles, do the powdery mix and all that. It's just, it's just a lot easier. And is portable. Mom can go out and run errands, go to the store, go to the bank, and if her baby's hungry and she wasn't expecting it, she can breastfeed her baby wherever she needs to. My husband and I are very active, and I couldn't think about formula and have to make sure I had the right kind of water and a place to warm it up. I, we're too active for that. I needed something that was easy and readily available to me, and it was breastfeeding. Skin to skin contact is when the baby has nothing on but a diaper um, and we place the baby on the bare chest of the mother. That is important because it actually allows the baby to experience neurosensory uh, environment that um, promotes healthy neurons growing in their brain. So babies who receive a lot of skin-to-skin -skin time actually do better neurodevelopmentally down the line, especially premature babies. Uh, for healthy full-term babies, it's important to help mothers maintain their milk production. It's important for bonding and it's also important for the baby's development. I definitely did skin-to-skin -skin contact. I did it three to four hours a day, which may seem <laughs> like a lot, but I was recovering from a C-section. I wasn't going out. There really wasn't anything to do. It was the dead of winter, and she wanted to sleep. So doing the skin-to-skin -skin was easy, and it was a great time for us just to be there together. I was just prepared for having a regular delivery and then putting him on my chest for skin-to-skin -skin and to start nursing immediately. But when I had a C-section, uh, as soon as they patched me up and wheeled me back to the room. They handed them to me and they encouraged it from the beginning. I just feel like they encouraged it and they were confident with it that I could do it. So that made me feel confident that it would be no problem. So I feel like, you know, they are breastfeeding advocates, everyone, all the nurses there. Studies have also shown that babies who are in skin to skin contact their breathing is more stable, their heart rate is more stable, oxygen levels are more stable, and they are calmer babies, they cry less, and they have better bonding with their mother. I think pre-baby I would have thought, wow, that's really boring. <laughs> You're just sitting there for hours and hours, but you really just get to see your baby, you know, their heartbeat, or you can feel their heartbeat, you can, you can see them sleeping and their eyes moving and their little hands twitching and just it's a very peaceful moment. Latch is probably the most common difficulty that new moms have. For the first few days that we were at the hospital, she latched okay and she was able to do it um, not for long periods of time, but she was still able to get on. And then we came home and that first night, she was not able to latch again. The first time he latched on, the nurse said, you're so lucky, he latched on great and this is going great. And so I thought everything was going great. And um, what I didn't realize is having a C-section, your milk takes a while to come in. So he really wasn't getting anything. And so he lost a lot of weight. The first thing we needed to do was go back to the birthing pavilion because the lactation consultants um, are so fantastic. They were able to take me through the different steps to help get the breastfeeding to work. A lactation nurse came in and told me that my latch wasn't correct. <laughs> so as soon as we got him latched on correctly, I could hear him swallowing, I could see the neck moving, and she said, that's how you know he's getting the milk. I think the biggest problem actually is with confidence. 
um, you can't see how much milk the baby is getting. Believe it or not, one of the main reasons that women stop breastfeeding early on is they feel that they don't have enough milk. You know, you can't see how much the baby is getting. So that to me was kind of like, I don't know how much he's eating. I don't know if he's satisfied. Many of us don't understand how tiny a baby's belly is. And we live in a culture where we have these very large bottles, these very large pink and purple eight ounce bottles. And we assume that all babies are to take these really large volumes of milk. and that they express their breasts and that they get out droplets sometimes in the beginning and that is normal. We went to the nurse and she weighed him before he fed and after the feeding and she could tell me exactly how much she was getting. And he was actually getting more than I thought. To help moms with the confidence, we talk about the specialized thing that ha just happened with forming a new baby in her body. And surely if her body can create a human being, it can create enough breast milk for her baby. The other challenges in the beginning are how frequent a baby needs to eat. A lot of babies, they'll keep wanting to breastfeed keep in, and they don't seem satisfied. That's why I was like, oh, I just have to go to formula because he's not satisfied. They're not being annoying, they're not being needy. It's just, that's their norm. After her third month, she got it. And I don't really know why, but she did. It was definitely a big moment. Our nurses in the birthing pavilion are trained to provide help and support to new babies and new mothers. I got a lot of support from many different people during my post-pregnancy time learning how to breastfeed. The most important for me initially was at the hospital. I had a lactation consultant come to my hospital room and just she stayed with us for about an hour and watched him feed and before and after and just kind of coached me through it. So when I came home I was a bit scared because you know, I didn't know what to do when I was by myself. So every week, as much as I feel like I need to, I make an appointment with the lactation consultant. That was instrumental in helping me learn a lot of the techniques firsthand and actually trying different holds in different positions with my baby. It's very important for new mothers to connect with other breastfeeding mothers. The support that they receive and they give each other is nothing that can be matched by anyone else. There are um, a s several different support groups available for women in our community. One of the ones that is a really strong support base is the Women's Health Resource Center in Lebanon, New Hampshire. We have a fourth trimester group at the Women's Health Resource Center that's really great for moms to connect and share their challenges and their tips and their successes. The fourth trimester group at the Women's Health Resource Center really solidified my need and my drive to keep breastfeeding. We would go and we'd sit in a circle and all the moms would just keep popping the babies off and on their breasts over and over and over again. And for someone who was having a hard time breastfeeding, I was able to just see firsthand how other mothers who were successful breastfeeders were doing as they breastfed their babies. And that was extremely helpful. There's also the La Leche League, which is a peer support network of breastfeeding women. And women who come to La Leche are at all ages and stages of breastfeeding. And quite honestly, the, you generally will find the older breastfeeder um, at La Leche. They could be eight, nine, 10 months old. First of all, I get you out of the house because sometimes with breastfeeding, I felt like I was kind of chained to the house because I was afraid to leave. There's somebody there watching you and it's just we can just talk about the ups and the downs and you leave feeling like you have a great support system and you're doing the best for your baby. I always feel more confident when I leave. You leave feeling great. The mother actually receives uh, more health benefits the longer that she breastfeeds. We recommend that babies uh, breastfeed for as long as they are able. We know that the more they breastfeed and the more breast milk they receive, the greater the health benefits. I plan to breastfeed as long as I can. I am going to keep pumping up through six months. And once I get to July 19th, that's my date, I had to set a date, um, then I will reevaluate. And who knows, maybe I'll make it to a year. Studies show that babies don't generally wean themselves before the second year. Um, and worldwide, the average rate of breastfeeding is three to four years. Some moms choose not to breastfeed because they've never been exposed to breastfeeding and they have worries or they've heard things about breastfeeding that may not necessarily be true. I kind of just got over it because you have to. If you're out with the baby and he's hungry, 
you have to do what you have to do. But my first time breastfeeding in public was um, when we went to go see my dad and we flew on the airplane and they say to nurse him take off and landing and um, I did that and it was not as bad as I thought that it would be. It was actually the stewardess and the people were actually very supportive of it. One lady even told me good job for breastfeeding him and I just had my little cover and he was happy. For a woman who's worried about this, I would encourage her to watch other women breastfeed, ask friends and family who have breastfed before how they were actually able to breastfeed in public without worrying about this, and or think about ways that they could work around that if they really still are very worried about that, and perhaps uh, pump their breast milk before going out, and then they could feed that to their baby with a bottle, and then they wouldn't have to worry about breastfeeding directly in public. cost benefits to the parents are tremendous with breastfeeding. There's just no cost associated with it and no preparation. You're just, you just feed them. Wherever you are and whatever's happening, it's right there and ready to go. Formula costs about $2,000 a year, um, but to society and healthcare dollars, there's a huge benefit. Breastfeeding has a lower rate of needing to go to the doctor to get seen for these infections, as well as a lower rate of needing prescriptions and decreased rates of hospitalization. So this not only saves the family money, but it also saves the family from missing work and saves us a lot of health care dollars as well. The American culture could save 10 to 13 billion dollars a year if 90 percent of the families breastfed for the first six months of life. The Baby Friendly Hospital Initiative is actually a globally based healthcare initiative that has been around for a long time, but has only been more recently adopted in the United States. I don't know if I would have had the strength to keep going when there were just resource after resource after resource of people saying, no, I'll help you. Oh, here's another idea. Oh, we can work on this together. And that's the main aim, is to really help mothers and babies breastfeed successfully and to breastfeed as long as they are able to. I would say the lactation consultants are the key to making breastfeeding work and just remembering to stay Stay positive and stay focused on your baby. Moms know what's best for their baby and what's gonna work for them and their baby. 